Hello everybody. Um, my name is Susie B. I am starting this new YouTube channel because I'm going to um, hook it up with my new Instagram account, which is called Susie B Lifestyle. And um, I also have Susie B Living, which is my gardening and my food kind of account. But I wanted to um, do more stuff on kind of makeup and lifestyle and um, interiors and all that other kind of stuff because it doesn't really fit my uh, other account, my Susie B Living account. So hello and welcome. I am starting this with a um, makeup tutorial which I actually haven't done for quite a long time. Um, I have done them in the past because I used to be a beauty therapist and in my other lifetime and then um, when I was an opera singer I did theatre makeup as well so I kind of do know what I'm doing and I'm also a little bit of a skincare makeupaholic which is interesting. So come along with me this morning. I have got, I got myself the Hannah Martin box, subscription box. Well, it's not, well, it was a, a one-off box from OK Magazine. Um, I got it on the recommendation of another friend of mine on Instagram. She uh, showed a few of the products and then I watched a video of Hannah doing a makeup with the actual products as well. And I thought, hmm, I could probably use these products, all of them. Um, and I am, I'm using all of the products, which is quite amazing. These subscription boxes are quite interesting. I do love a subscription box. I'm a little bit of an addicted to them. The only trouble is with subscription boxes is that you end up not using the, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff in the subscription box, so you might be giving it away to people. You might be, um, I don't know, I don't know what you're doing with it, or, or it just sits in the cupboard for ages and ages. And so yes, so I got this subscription box, and on the back of this very pretty leaflet are. Uh, description of all the products in here. We, there's quite a few really fantastic products. The ones that I've used already on my face was this one here. So this is called Skin Hero with Ginseng. This is an Eborian um, product. Eborian make fantastic products. Yeah, so this is called a skin primer. I wasn't sure about this because I use another product on my skin for priming. Uh, but anyhow, when I did try it, it was quite interesting because it was really good for large pores. And I do have large pores, especially around here. Um, and it's really good for that. It just evened out the skin tone very nicely. This is the travel size. I don't know whether I would get the bigger size because like I said, I use another product and that is this product here. So this is called Rosalique. This is an anti-redness product. I've got lots of rosacea and um, this is the best anti-redness uh, product I have ever used on my rosacea. It also has an SPF of 50, which is fabulous and it works really, really well. Um, absolutely love it, this stuff. I probably, I might do a video just on the Rosalie, actually, just to show you how it works. Um, so this is me after my, <laughs> after my base. I'm just patting in my. Yes, that's better, concealer. Uh, then I put on a base, uh, which was a, a couple of products, and then I put on the concealer. Now, those things are not included in this box, and Hannah specifically said it's because they are very personal to us. Um, you know, I go through, I think I said I've got one, two, three, four, five, six concealers in my drawer. And they're all different. They're all different weights. Um, and they're all, you know, completely different in texture, how you apply them. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Right. The other thing that was in here in the box is the wonderful Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF. So this is a 30 um, sun protecting factor. Uh, it's a 
great product. It's very thick. It goes on beautifully. Love it. I hope you're using an SPF. It's very important. I've got quite a lot of sun damage here. You can see I didn't use an SPF for years. As you can hear, I'm Australian. I'm now living in the UK. I've been living in the UK for 30 years. And I think it was probably not until I came to the UK that I started using an SPF. Crazy. But I do. Uh, so, yes, that is the SPF Dermalogica. Now, the, I think the box cost me something like 60, 60 pounds, something like that. This, I think, is 65. <laughs> so you kind of get, you get your um, SPF and then you get everything else for free. I'm also in my dressing room, as you can see. I've got the light in front of me. Okay, let's crack on. So the next product is a Trini product. Now, I have used Trini before. I'm going to show you. There's the Trini stuff. Look, I've even got the little bag, the dilly bag. Um, I love Trini, Trini stuff. It's, it's quite amazing. It doesn't give me the coverage that I want in the winter. I do, the eyeshadows are great. You know what I love about about these products is Trini's all about hands you know hands on and so am I I do love using my fingers and my hands um, and this product is the it's called Soala so um, this is their her um, golden globe this is the bronzer um, I have bronzers in many forms and factors I like to use it sometimes as a powder um, but this this is what it looks like. Okay, so when I put the, put my bronzer on, I'm a bit of a patter. I do like patting. You can apply it if you want to with a brush as well, which I'll do on my forehead actually. Um, but what I like about the patting thing is all the um, acid that you get in your fingers and the oils that you get from your fingers tends to blend better. So if you're particularly light, like I am, in um, tech, in uh, skin colour, it's quite nice to put this on by patting, as you can see. So where do you put bronzer on? I put bronzer on kind of anything that sticks out. So it's all along here. It's up here. Let's, so let's get a brush. Uh, I'm going to use this one. I think this is a... Um, spectrum brush i think i might have got this from a um beauty box as well so you can see when you start putting it on with a brush the coverage is different it's a little bit darker hope you can see that so again sticky out bits along the top of the forehead the hairline let's go back in with fingers and also here it's a really kind of grey and um, wet day outside today, so I'm just going to put a bit more, bit more colour here. Sticky out bits. Already, I'm starting to get a little bit of colour. Obviously, I'm not going to have colour because I hide my face. I'm a gardener. I'm outside all the time. I've got a really wide-brimmed hat. I might put a little bit just here. Why not? And just there. Um, so yeah, the sun does not see my face at all. It obviously sees my neck, but it doesn't see my face. I like that. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit. I've just got a mirror here on the side. So, um, I'm going to put a little bit just here because that's a kind of the, the brow bone is a little bit of a sticky out bit too, isn't it? Yeah, like that. Very nice. So, bronzer. It's great stuff. You can do so much with bronzer. You can highlight as well. No, contour. That's what I mean. Contour, not highlight. Contour. There we are. So that's quite natural already. As you can see, I'm quite dark under here. But I don't cake on the... um concealer 
because otherwise I'd be, I'd be really, really caked on. Okay, so I might just leave that. Let's just pr bring that here and I'm just going to leave that because I might apply a little bit more. Next thing I'm going to use is the blusher and the blusher is a stiller blusher. If I can open it. Um, beautiful, great colour for me. I'm quite, my skin is quite beigey so I need lots of warm colors I don't really do well with pinks I sometimes put pinks on but not hugely now so I'm just going to do this again and I'm going to say hello and put it on my cheeks you can use this on your lips if you want to as well which we might try I haven't done it on my lips yet. Okay, so that's that's me done. Because like I said, I'm all, I'm already rosy cheeked. This is a great product. Again, I usually when I put on a blush, and I do that every day, I put it on with a, a powder actually. So my lips are always dry, and you can see. I don't often wear colour on my lips at all um, because they're quite thin. I've got the lines here at the top and that is not because I um, smoke <laughs> with a fag. Um, it's because it's my mum and I, we have a tendency that when we um, concentrate, we do this a lot with our mouth. Weird. Cheers, I'm just going to have a drink. Mm. All right, that's that. Very natural. I like it. And, um, yeah, leaves your skin looking beautiful. Might put a little bit more colour on in a minute as well. Right, let's go. Eyeshadow. I've never really been into um, a cream stick eyeshadow eyeshadow sh shadow I can't even say it I'm just looking here at this little thing here this is a this is a Trish McAvoy um eyeshadow and if you don't know who Trish McAvoy is go and look Trish McAvoy up Trish McAvoy is one of the gurus of makeup this woman is amazing um so of course this is going to be amazing this is called the 24 hour shadow and liner and it's, the color is topaz so when I put this on, first of all, I thought, ooh, gosh, this is going to crease in my eyelids. Ugh, it's going to look really weird. Now, I haven't put any powder on the eyelids. Um, here it is. Now, let's put it on. So, now, the art of putting on a cream eyeshadow is blend, 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 blend. Now you can blend with your fingers, which is fine. Okay, let's do this eye with the fingers. Am I coming out of focus? I hope not. All right, so I'm blending with the fingers. So far, pretty good. Nice and light. You can just leave it like that if you want to. Or then you start reapplying. If you whack this stuff on really thick in one go, you might get a little bit of creasing because you've just stuck this stuff on so thick. So it's about a little, little bits and a lot of applications. Here we are. Look at that. Again, put it on with your fingers, lovely. So that's that one, I'll fix it in a minute. I'm gonna do the other eye now with the, with the brush. I've experimented quite a lot with this. So there we are, the whole eyelid's done. This is so quick. And now I've got a little matte brush. And for me, I find this much quicker and easier because um, maybe my fingers are a bit big. I, I do have farming fingers, as you can see, or gardener's fingers. Let's go back in here. 
And then you can just blend it up into the crease if you want to. Great colour. Lovely colour. I think this colour would suit most people. I'm just going to go along here a little bit more. Yeah. Then, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can take it underneath as well. But when I take it underneath, I do blend with my fingers. Look at that. It's good. It's good. Nice. Nice colour. Very nice. Just put a bit more on into the crease, which I'm going to blend out. Yeah. Lovely colour. Lovely kind of um, summery, not too glittery, because you'll see as you wear this through the day, um, it just tones down a little bit. There we are. I like that. And underneath as well. Very nice. And then if you want to, you can go back in with the Trini bronzer. Just on the brow bone. Look at that. Very nice. Nice and natural, which is great. Great product. Love this. Packaging is beautiful too. There we are. That's that one. Now what do we do? Let me just look. Looks good. Great. Okay, I'm going to do eyelashes. I don't know. Do you curl your eyelashes? That's an interesting thing. I do. So I don't, I don't really do it every day. I, I sometimes, you know, it depends on how I feel, but I sometimes do it every day. I sometimes don't. Um, okay, so this is a fantastic mascara. That's another thing I have about 20 of is mascaras. I find that um, it depends on the brush. It depends on how long the actual wand is. But um, let me try and find where is this? Um, oh, the other thing that came in this packet, which I don't wear, are lashes. I don't wear lashes. I think it's a kind of um, a hangover of being in the theatre for so long because they used to always be putting these blooming lashes on my eyes and I hated it. So I don't really wear lashes. I don't have the longest eyelashes and they are a little bit kind of um, bleached on the ends being out in the sun. All right, let's go back to this mascara. Um, so the mascara, let's find it. I should have probably looked at this a little bit better. Aha, here it is. Um, a Sculpted by Amy. That's this mascara. It's very, very good. It has a curly brush. You can see there. And it goes on beautifully. This mascara. Very nice. It's not a waterproof. Um, I go through stages with waterproof mascara. I kind of get myself a waterproof mascara and then I start swearing at the end of the day when I can't get the blooming thing off. It's a, a real hassle. So I don't know, do you use waterproof mascara? That's quite an interesting question. Um, I don't. <laughs> I would do it well, actually, saying that I think I've got two waterproof. Oops, there we are, hello. I've got two waterproof mascaras I think um, I can see in front of me, but I haven't worn them for quite a long time. Look at that. Very nice, very nice, very nice coverage. I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom as well. I just find that if I don't put um, a mascara on the bottom lashes, <laughs> I tend to look a little bit weird. Just think that when you put mascara on your bottom lashes, um, it just bing, opens things up, doesn't it? This is a great mascara. Um, 
So that's that one. And like I said, it's easy to get off at the end of the day. I'm just going to put on a brow gel. I sometimes darken my brows and sometimes I don't. There we go. That's quite nice. Do you think I need more colour, more bronzer? Might need more bronzer. Let's go in again. The beauty of this product. Um, there are a couple of other products in this pack that I said that I didn't use. One was the lashes. The other one, which I used, I forgot to mention actually at the beginning, before I actually started anything to do with my face, was the Pixie Skin Treats. I can't see. Rose Glow Mi Mist as well. Um, so, and you can use that afterward. You can use that during the day if you find that you get a little bit dry in the skin as well. Um, it's a great stuff and it smells beautiful. It smells of roses as well. You just missed it over your face. Ta-da! There we are. Right. Let's do lips. All right. So like I said, I don't often do lips, um, because my lips are quite thin. Um, but I'm going to do lips today. There is, I'm going to add a product. There is a product that Trini makes and it is quite incredible. I wonder if I'll be able to show you here on the, yes, on the video it should come out. This product is called Miracle Blur and I must say it is a miracle. And what you do is any kind of lines that you've got, especially I'm going to do my lines. Let's do it on one side. Any lines that you've got, you just dab this stuff on. Let's do one side, leave the other. And I use this if I'm kind of going out places. So there's that side. And there's that side. With and without. This is great, this stuff. I get this stuff all the time. Just for my kind of upper lip. There we are. Miracle blur. <laughs> Thank you, Trini. Um, all right. Lip pencil. So this is one. This is Delilah um, lip pencil. Uh, very, very good lip pencil. I'm just looking for the thingy here. There we are. Lip line long wear retractable pencil in buff. So it's very natural. This will shut me up for a bit. Good colour, isn't it? These lip pencils are lovely. Really lovely. Wow, things have come a long way over the years, haven't they? Long way. You could actually, if you wanted more co coverage, of course, um, you know, uh, use a lip pencil all over the lip if you want to. Um, and this here is a lip gloss by Lisa Eldridge, another guru of the makeup world. And it's lovely. It's in a little bottle. This is going to last you forever. Mmm. Mm. Lovely feel. Great colour. What colour is this? Songbird, it's called. There we are. Great colour. Lovely colour. Really lovely colour. Especially, and on me as well, which is quite interesting. So, I'm just going to do my hair and I'll be back. Ta-da! There we are. Makeup from OK Magazine Beauty Box by Hannah Martin. Nice. Lovely, lovely summer makeup. Um, and everything in this box is fantastic, except I, I don't think I'm going to use the lashes, as I said. But who knows? Maybe one day I will. 
So that's me. Thank you for watching everybody and um, look forward to some more treats, some more skincare, some more makeup, um, some other bits and pieces from the house and kind of lifestyle-y things. It's very exciting. Thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, give me the thumbs up and also if you want to subscribe, subscribe because I will be uploading YouTube videos. See you later. Bye.